everybody. This is Joe Joseph, and this is the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Going to go a little sci-fi, or is it sci-fi? As the Independent's reporting that thousands of people could live in space colonies orbiting the Earth in 20 years, so says experts. This reeks eerily of that movie Elysium. And if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's, it's quite a flick. But basically, it's about a space station, if you will, and a large one at that, where the elite live with their technology. And, um, I mean, it's just a really amazing place. And all of the peasants live down on the earth. And the earth has just been totally and completely decimated, raped and pillaged of its natural resources. I mean, it's just a, it's a nasty place. And, it, you know, again, this is this kind of reminds me of that movie. So check it out if you haven't seen it. But it says thousands of people could be living in floating space colonies orbiting the Earth in 20 years time. This according to the head of a project by the British Interplanetary Society. And while life in space might not sound might sound unappealing to some, Jeremy Stone believes it could actually be healthier than planet Earth, enabling people to live longer and eventually grow taller. Oh, hey. Mr. Stone authored the book One Small Step about the moon landings and other members of the BIS have been updating research carried out in the U.S. in the 1970s into how humans could start living in space in large numbers. In a speech in Aberdeen, uh, Mr. Stone will claim humanity is now close to the point where such colonies could be built using materials taken from the moon and asteroids. That's right. And, of course, you know... Uh, here next year, I think on Elon Musk's rocket, they're going to take two space tourists around the moon and come back. So, you know, once that happens, let's just say this, you know, here goes Musk. He shoots a rocket into space. It's got two people. Perhaps they'll live stream the event. I don't know. But it goes around the moon. It comes back. At that point, uh, can we put to rest any of the, uh, the craziness about, you know, the moon's not really there or all the other crazy stuff? And let's just get focused on the things that we need to focus on, which is the earth and it's going to hell in a handbasket. That would be a good thing. You know, once we get all the stuff straightened out on earth, it's kind of like the United States. It's, it's, a, it's kind of a macrochasm, if you will, of the microchasm. That's the United States. Here we are trying to force our will upon everybody else on this planet. You can see how well that's going. It's not going well. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we have plenty of our own problems that we need to deal with. Why are we trying to go and force our will upon the rest of the world? Same way here, you know. Let's not worry about the moon until we get the things at home straightened out. And then, and then we can worry about the moon. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot, and I'll have one again for you real soon. Take care, everybody.